Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. For the last few episodes, you have been seeing some interview-related questions, some interview for the parents, then in, uh, then some online classes. This was uh, this is very important during this time because I'm getting many requests from parents for these classes, and along with that, I'm also getting some uh, requests for the interview questions because uh, man, many of Many of the kids' parents are going to face this kind of interviews in these months, in the coming months, starting from this month itself. So I have been uh, working on those things and I have posted those videos recently. Uh, no studies and no craft work videos were posted during the last four, four, five, three, four videos. Okay, today we'll come back to some studies. Sorting and classification. This is very important to, uh, for the kids to learn from this age itself. Kids along with learning alphabets, numbers, colors, shapes, they also should learn some basic things like for calculating, for uh, shapes are basically a part of the mathematics. So they learn the measurement and all those things and what is the angle. They learn all those things from the shapes. And along with that, they need to learn some patterns, then sorting, classification, patterns I'll do a separate video on that afterwards but today I'll do some sorting and classification. Now sorting and classification can be done in many easy way, ways. I'll show you a method today which is very easy and simple for the kids to do and you can also prepare this kind of games for them at home and engage them and they'll be fulfilled with this kind of activities and uh, constructive activities at home. Now sorting can be done, uh, sorting can be of many types like we can sort objects by their size, we can sort objects by their color, we can sort objects by their shapes and many other ways can be there for sorting. I'll show you three ways today how to uh, make your kids learn sorting and classifying objects. So let's start the activity. Now I have painted an egg carton uh, with five different different colors and made sections like this. These egg cartons are very um, useful for many kind of craft activities and uh, many kind of sorting games. So you can keep them separately whenever you bring them at home. You keep them separately and afterwards you paint them and make some activities for your kids. So there is a blue section with six different holes. Yellow section, red section, white section and a green section. Now we will start sorting the objects by colors. So from here I am sorting some red objects and putting them in the red section. Again from here I am taking some red objects and putting them in the red section. Ask your kid to do it like this. First we will sort out all the red objects whatever we have got from. I have cut out these things from form sheets. You can take any paper or any objects at your home which are available at your home and play this game. 
So once we have done the red object sorting, now we can do the yellow. All the yellow objects I will sort out from here and I will put it in the yellow section. Now the yellow one is also done. Then we have got some green one. We can do the green. Sorting of the green objects. The children usually love in this game. They enjoy sorting objects and by this way they learn the classification and sorting also. Now the green one is also done. Next we can do the blue colors. We can take the blue colored objects separately. One green is left so we can put it here. We can do the blue colored objects separately like this. You give them a mix and match of different different colored objects and there can be four or five color sections and they can put sort out all those all those five colors or those four colors from there. Constantly keep on encouraging them. Now the blue one is also done. White only two we have got here, so I'll put the white here. Now look carefully. Color wise sorting and classification of the objects are done. We can see some blue objects here, some yellow objects here, some red here, green here and white here. Now we'll put them back and start classification by shapes. Once you have uh, finished putting them back, you explain them about the next activity which is according to the shapes. Now see, first we can start with the square shape. Now uh, before starting with the square shape, explain them that we will put all the square shapes in this blue section. You can also write and tag it like this is for the square shapes. So first we'll uh, you can start by doing this, put one square shape here, one circle shape here, one diamond shape here and one triangle shape in the yellow and we'll start by doing this. There are some oval shapes also that we'll do afterwards. So by seeing this they also can put the circle shapes, all the circle shapes here. So let's start. It, it will be a mix and match of colors but it will be all the circle shapes. Explain them that. 
all the circles will come here all the circular objects yes that's good check carefully if there are any more circular objects left over here yeah now we can start doing the now we can start doing the squares yes take out all the squares and put it in this blue section yes that's good all the square goes here in the blue section search carefully if there are anything left now as the square is done we can start doing here what is put over here it's the triangle yes we'll start putting all the triangle shaped objects in the yellow section isn't it fun they love to do these things wow we are sorting all the triangle shaped objects Now we'll start with the diamond shaped objects. Now let's sort all the diamond shaped objects over here. So we are sorting all the diamond shaped two squares were left. So we'll put it in the right place. and then that will take all the diamond shaped objects and put it here sorting of objects uh, as per shapes circle square triangle and diamond shape has been done now already we have done two types of sorting one with colors color color sorting and one uh, object sorting as per their shapes now we'll do 
object sorting with these things as per their sizes big and small like these are the big stones this will go in the green box suppose you can label them like big small medium or now this one is a little smaller all the big stones will go here and from here also the big ones i'll put here now next we can put some medium size stones here medium size smaller than these ones explain them that and here we'll put some medium sized medium sized shapes and we have got some uh, small stones we have got so we'll put the small stones in the yellow section all the small stones goes in the yellow section be careful while playing this game they should not put anything in their mouth always be with them and instruct them the safety guidelines maintain those things and play this game And along with that, we'll put this also. This clips are also small, paper clips. So I'll put them here. This way, we are sorting out objects as per their shapes. Now here we have got all the big size objects. Here we have got smaller than this, and here we have got the small size objects. so we can do the sorting by this also by size friends today my son will show you a simple origami hope you all will enjoy it hi my name is ishan today i am going to show you a simple origami fox please follow the steps for this we have taken a 15 by 15 cm of square sheet of paper We will first fold the paper in half like this. And see that the corners match. Now we will open it and fold it in half in this way. Now your paper should look like this and have a crease here. Now we will open and fold in this crease. We will fold this corner to this corner like this. And now you have to crease the corners well. Now your paper should look like this. After that, you will fo again fold this co this corner to this corner. Now we have a layer of papers here. And 
we will have to open one of these layers by putting a finger in it this way now we will fold the first layer from this corner like this We will open the second layer to this point, not further than this point, and push it and make a diamond like this. Now we will make the nose and mouth of the fox with fell pens. Now the fox is ready. Friends, you saw how to uh, sort and classify objects today. Along with that, you enjoyed an origami by Ishan. So, uh, keep watching for more interesting videos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.